Hey there, my name is Walker and I work at Gluru. Today I'm going to be showing you what the onboarding process looks like when using one Apple ID account for two Gluru users. This is most useful for the scenario where you're a parent of a child with type 1 diabetes and you both use iOS devices. Your child may not have their own email account because they're a minor, so what I'm about to show will allow you to use your single Apple ID to log in on both devices ultimately allowing you to monitor and help your child with type 1 diabetes. So let's get into it. I've got an iOS, two iOS devices. One is an iPhone, one is an iPad, just because that's what I have lying around at the time. Um, I'm going to show them one at a time. So first we'll see the iPhone here. I'm just going to browse through the uh, onboarding screens here, and I'm going to select to create a new account. Uh, in this case, the person with diabetes I'd like to help is my child. And so I'm going to give them parental consent. I'm going to put my signature in here. I'll be Jane Doe. There we go. Uh, my child, his name is Billy. He is six years old. And he's got type 1 diabetes. He was diagnosed a couple months ago. Now, this is an important question. Is this their phone? No, this one's mine. I'm going to pull up his phone, which is the iPad that I'll be showing here in a second. Um, but for right now, I'm saying this is my phone, and then we're going to onboard him in a second. My goals, I want to see their real-time data. I also want to share access with my partner, support their autonomy, and I want to improve their health metrics too. You know, you just pick whatever of these resonate with you. Um, notifications are key for achieving your goals. We send you things like device monitoring reminders, nudges, and alerts about your blood glucose data. Um, for my phone, I've already installed Gluru previously and they're already enabled. You will see a little pop-up that lets you change the uh, iOS notification settings. But here I see a little thing at the bottom that says notifications are already turned on. Great. Um, we also recommend that you turn off banner notifications because they can be kind of disruptive. So I'm going to tap in to make this change and you can see I've already got it disabled, but it would look like this and you'll just uncheck banners in the right here and then go back to Gluru. Um, you can just swipe back to Gluru after that. Does your child use a CGM? Yes, they're on the G6. And how about a pump or a smart pen? I'm going to say that Billy uses an Omnipod 5 as well. Um, so now signing in, I'm going to hit sign in with Apple and that's going to pull up my Apple ID. Verifying my face. And we have been verified. So we're going to continue. Next steps, we're going to read and accept the terms of use, the privacy policy and medical warnings. My profile, my name is Jane. I can upload a profile picture here as well so that when Billy pops into my glue crew, uh, he'll recognize my face. And for this step, we can invite Billy a couple of different ways. We can either send in this link directly, we can send it via email, we can text it to their phone, we can use the QR code as well. That's what I'm gonna do because it's pretty straightforward and simple. You just pull up the QR code. I'm gonna grab my iPad and open up the camera tap glue through um, so now i've got that invitation pulled up on my ipad glue is installed i get a splash screen that says jane says hello so i'm going to put the ipad to the side for a second go back to the iphone say i did invite billy he's got the invitation um, in this screen, I can add other people, like if I wanted to add my partner, add a babysitter, school nurse, whoever else is relevant for helping Billy with manage his type 1 diabetes. Um, I can do that here. I'm just going to skip that step for now. Now, connect to CGM. I can do this on my phone on behalf of Billy because I know his Dexcom login credentials and so forth. Uh, I'm going to use my own personal credentials right now because I'm a type 1 diabetic as well, and I am wearing a G6. Uh, on my arm. So I just tap that and it'll try to connect. And here we go. This is showing my current blood glucose level is 109. Uh, the trend arrow is steady and to the right. So there's been no change or very little change since the prior reading. And the last reading occurred four minutes ago. Um, we'll hit continue. 
and now we're all set. We get a little overview of the app. Um, if you want to see more about how to use the app, there's FAQs, there's some more videos on our YouTube channel. I'm not going to cover that in this video. Um, and now we've made it through. So I'm going to send a little thumbs up in the chat just to show that uh, things are working. Now I'm switching back to the iPad. I'll hit start. I'm going to sign in with Apple. So again, uh, both of these iOS devices are using my own Apple ID as their uh, system Apple ID. So I'll hit sign in with Apple. And now we see that the Apple account has already been used to sign in to Jane, who is supporting Billy as the type 1 diabetic or the person with diabetes. And it's asking if I want to use it to sign in as Billy, who's being supported by Jane. So you can select which one you want to log in as. On the iPhone, we're already signed in as Jane, so I do want to use it to sign in as Billy. So I'm going to say, yes, use this account again. Access verified. Again, we need to accept. We've already read the uh, privacy policy and things like that on behalf of Billy, so you can tap through that easily on this one. We get the banner notification change again. I'll just show that on this on this device that's not actually disabled. So I'm gonna do that and then hit Gluru in the top left to tap back. We'll hit continue. And here we go. We now see on both devices that Jane is in the Glue Crew, Billy's in the Glue Crew, and they both sent a thumbs up and said hello. So that's how we know things are working. We also see blood glucose level in the top left, or I'm sorry, top right. And uh, now we're good to go. Thanks a lot for watching. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions.